Well, hello everyone. It is Adam here. I should clean my glasses. Jeez, everything looks like fuzzy. Uh, today we're going to talk about coffee. It's one of my uh, one of my many hobbies. And uh, for the longest time, I've been subscribing to Blue Bottle's coffee subscription, and their um, their pricing kept going up, and their marketing kept it just it got it felt like Blue Bottle had gotten too big. Uh, the quality of the coffee hadn't changed, but their um, their packaging changed immensely, which actually was for the better. Their shipping expenses cost went up. They did some things that I thought were kind of weird. So I decided, let's take a step back. Let's spend a few months trying your chief competitors. Um, Stumptown is partially or fully owned by Starbucks, so I skipped Stumptown. And Intelligentsia, uh, I skipped because... Um, I tried them a couple years ago and Intelligentsia was sending me beans a couple days after they were roasted uh, and everyone that I benchmarked uh, was shipping beans as soon as they were roasted. Porter's going to make an appearance here in a second. You can see him when he's right in there. Porter! Oh! You see him? Oh, there he is. There's the Porter. Um, there you go. Good boy. He's in a playful mood. So, uh, here's what we did. We benchmarked uh, Blue Bottle. We benchmarked um, um, Counterculture and we benchmarked Four, four Barrel. Uh, Four Barrel and uh, Blue Bottle were both based in San Francisco. Uh, and they roast out of San Francisco and they ship out of San Francisco. Counterculture, I think they roast out of North Carolina, is it? Yeah, Durham, North Carolina, and they ship there. Uh, a lot of third wave coffee shops will um, will serve Blue Bottle. Uh, they, I, I'm guessing Blue, oh, no, I'm sorry, Counterculture. Counterculture offers incredible uh, wholesale deals. Um, they're just really, really popular among East Coast cafes, probably because um, counterculture is East Coast based. Um, so the three things we were looking at today were um, price, uh, packaging, and uh, speed, which these these beans get to me. Um, with Blue Bottle, I had been doing, and I'm going to put some screenshots over me talking here so you don't see my face the whole time. At Blue Bottle, I was doing a, a 12 ounce bag every two weeks of their single origin subscription. I was paying $16 a bag and a flat rate fee of $5 shipping. Um, and in that situation, it would take Blue Bottle um, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. So four full business days um, to get to me from Oakland, California uh, at $5 shipping and it was uh, sending through priority mail. Now. If you go to a monthly um, order from Blue Bottle, so getting coffee every four weeks, so two bags every four weeks, the shipping doesn't change. So instead of spending um, $16 per bag, which times two would be 32 bucks, they're actually charging $33 um, per two bags. So it's a little bit more to buy two bags, but you still get the $5 uh, flat rate shipping. So $38 instead of 21 for getting both bags at the same time. So if you were to take 21 times two, you're putting $42 if you get two shipments, you're getting fresher beans, but $38 if you wanna get your shipments every four weeks. So less fresh, but you save it for $4. So it's really up to you if you wanna do it that way. I personally prefer to do uh, bi-weekly shipments. Uh, I don't mind paying the extra money. Okay, so that's Blue Bottle for their shipping situation. Uh, counterculture. I put an order in them on June 26th. Uh, it left Durham on the 27th and arrived to me on the 29th. So three days, which North Carolina, that's not bad. Also sending priority mail. Counterculture is char charged me $30 for two bags of coffee. So $15 a bag, which is what uh, a little bit lower than Blue Bottle by a dollar per bag. Uh, and they charged me uh, $3 shipping, which is a flat rate shipping. So if I were to change it to one single bag, it's $3. Two bags is $3. So they are $2 cheaper than Blue Bottle on a flat rate shipping. And they get here a full day earlier. Finally, Four Barrel. Uh, with Four Barrel, I spent uh, $34 for two bags. So 34 divided by two. So they're charging $17 a bag. Uh, and the shipping was $9.47. And if I go to Four Bell's website, this is, and I do a subscription, and let's do single origin subscription, 17 bucks a bag. If I do one 12 ounce bag every week, they're charging $4 
for first, oh, 669 for priority mail, which is what I did. So, I, so Four Better Off was two options. They offer first class package for 355, which will take probably a week. And they offer priority mail for 669 for a single bag. If I were to do two bags, that total goes from 669 to 947 to do two bags. So they had the highest shipping by four to five dollars. And they have uh, one to two dollars more per bag. So it breaks down to on a, on a bi weekly basis if you do monthly orders with uh, all three companies, uh, four barrel to do the same shipping, priority mail shipping, is $21.73 every two weeks. Counterculture is $16.57 every two weeks. And Blue Bottle is $19 every two weeks. So counterculture, blue bottle, then four barrel in that order as far as the pricing goes. Um, both four barrel and blue bottle, both four barrel and blue bottle each took four days. Um, uh, counterculture took three days. All three priority mail. Now let's talk about the packaging. Now I don't have the counterculture or blue bottle packaging on me, but I want to put some pictures here. They just take pictures of all my stuff. This is the four barrel packaging. It just arrived. Uh, you've got a um, kind of recycled uh, black dyed paper here. Must have a wax coating, because I can't smell any of the coffee at all through the bag. There is a little bit of an O2 or CO2 breather here that allows the beans to breathe. Uh, you've got a roast date stamped. All three of them do roast date stamped on the bag. Uh, and instead of, um, well, I'll, I'll digress for a second, uh, and say that Blue Bottle will send you a little car. Let me I collect these because I'm working on an art project with these, but Blue Bottle will send you uh, these cards. So per, for every different bean of coffee, you're going to get a card with a picture of the farm. These are all single origins. Oh yeah, these are all single origins descriptions. These are not blends. And then on the back, you've got um, a little bit of story there and tasty notes. Blue Bottle does this. Very, very, very nice. I collect these. They're going to turn into a collage at some point, a framed collage of these. I've got hundreds of these things. I think about six years of these cards. Um, Four Barrel takes the opportunity to put the artwork on the front. And then they put the uh, tasting notes on the back, as well as the uh, tasting, uh, the brew roast date. Uh, Counterculture does none of that. They do a little tiny stamp on the very front with uh, the, the date, and then right below it is the farm. And uh, I don't believe there were tasting notes, but I'll put some pictures right here. Um, so as far as the, uh, the packaging goes, uh, it expels CO2 up here. Uh, it appears to be uh, O2 proof, even though it feels kind of fancy hipster, even though it's, it's paper feeling, but it doesn't let any coffee aromas out. So this is a decent packaging. Uh, this reminds me of a lot of what Blue Bottle used to use. Blue Bottle has switched over to, I believe it was Tonks that they bought, Tonks Coffee. Uh, they switched over to these um, recyclable uh, vinyl slash plastic bags that still also breathe. Um, but instead of having a, an old school, uh, you know, little things that flip over and, and lock in place, uh, they actually use a, a Ziploc sort of zipper thing uh, in their bags. Um, and then counterculture, they were kind of in the middle. So dead center on pricing, um, but in the, and also dead center on packaging. Their packaging was a little bit more plasticky. Uh, once again, nothing, uh, no air, or coffee smell breathe through, but it wasn't quite the thick vinyl that you got from Blue Bottle that was completely impervious to any sort of oxygen coming in, but it would let CO2 out as the uh, roasted beans would breathe. So between the three, um, and again, we're not judging them on the coffee quality because single origin uh, is going to change flavor profiles every two weeks or every month. Um, all three of these roasteries brew great coffee. Um, <clears throat> so other trucks. Um, in my opinion, I will probably end up going back to Blue Bottle. Their packaging is the nicest. Uh, their pricing, which I thought was pretty exorbitant, actually isn't that bad when you when you look at it compared to the competition. Um, they're, they are not as cheap as Counterculture, but Counterculture is a pretty massive operation now. Uh, Blue Bottle competes well in price. Uh, their shipping is on par with four barrels uh, and only one day longer to get it versus getting the same coffee from North Carolina. So I think I'm gonna go back to Blue Bottle, believe it or not. Um, uh, there was a, a change in their website that made me think they had stopped with the, the priority shipping. So instead of shipping, charging you $5 and shipping it slow as fuck, so taking a week, uh, they still do the priority mail, USPS priority mail. So um, my fears that led to me to do this experiment were unfounded. 
it's possible that I continue this experiment and go ahead and proceed with doing Sight Glass, uh, Intelligentsia, Stump Town, and one or two others that are that are nation nationwide well-known third wave uh, roasters. But for now, it looks like Blue Bottle is the winner when it comes to um, the overall experience of, of subscribing to a single origin um, um, bean from, from them and, and waiting for shipping. Uh, one thing that uh, Blue Bottle did note, they're working very hard and very fast to get um, Harleys. They're working very hard and very fast to get uh, their Brooklyn Roastery set up to do shipping. Once that happens, they're going to blow everyone on the water on the East Coast because you've got um, you don't have a lot of big players shipping out of New York City uh, on, a, on a major scale. There are a lot of roasteries shipping in New York City, but not the size of Blue Bottle or a Four Barrel or Sight Glass uh, or um, Counterculture. So within the next year, I'm going to be able to get Blue Bottle beans from Brooklyn, um, which will get to me within two days as opposed to four. So that'll be fantastic. So once that happens, if it's the same shipping price and it's twice as fast, uh, there's even more of a reason to stick with them. But for now, it does take a while. You know, they brew on a Monday and I don't get it until Friday, sometimes Saturday, uh, if it doesn't get to the post office in time. So, hey buddy. Porter's making an appearance. So that's all I have for this coffee coffee review. Um, I, I, there are other coffee videos if you guys want to sh check my video history, but I did enjoy doing this test. I think I might proceed with doing some other ones. I'm going to cancel my four barrel subscription now because of the price was just so high um, and the packaging was not quite up to par. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, in four weeks, set up a, uh, another subscription, another mystery subscription. And uh, if it's worth coming back to you guys and, and talking about um, you know the experience with that, I might make another video. Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.